in the paintings together. The story of Liao Jichun. Liao Jichun's artwork is included in the Imperial Art Exhibition. Excited voices could be heard coming from the alley. However, Liao, who was in the corner, did not hear these voices at all. The paintbrushes in his hand was constantly waving on the canvas, and his eyes were fixed on the colorful light that streamed through the banana leaves scattered onto the ground. When Liao was young, he enjoyed quietly staying beside his mother, watching her embroidering with threads of various colors. Stitching, as well as drawing various beautiful flower and bird patterns. When he saw these patterns, they all seemed to be alive, so he wanted to draw them. But he had no pen and paper. So what did he do? Come buy delicious Taiwanese kula. Liao pedaled while carrying his baby nephew, thinking that if he could just sell a few more Taiwanese kulas. Then he would have the money to buy pencils to draw on the blank spaces in the used account book. When Liao was studying at the Taihoku Normal School, he heard about a painting method called oil painting. He was very interested in it, so he started practicing on pieces of cardboard by himself. However, it wasn't until when he saw someone painting on a canvas with oil paint. That he realized what real oil painting was. From then on, he decided to learn oil painting. In his youth, not only did he like oil painting, but he also liked a girl with a charming temperament. Her name was Lin Chongxian. Liao wanted to marry her, and Lin agreed upon one request: "You have to go study in Japan." Lin bought a comfortable seat for Liao on the boat. This helped him to be more relaxed and at peace upon arriving in Japan, which allowed him to pass the Tokyo Fine Art School entry exam. Whenever Liao received monthly living allowances from Lin, he reminded himself that he needed to concentrate on his paintings in order to return to Taiwan as soon as possible. Alongside Liao. Chen Chengpo also entered the Tokyo Fine Art School at the same time. Even though the teacher strictly requires us to incorporate the concepts of realism, lights, and shadow into our artwork, they don't limit how we draw our pictures," said Liao cheerfully. "That's right. Such freely drawing is so fun. We must work harder so we won't lose to the Japanese," replied Chen. Seeing Chen's sparkling eyes, Liao responded with a positive smile. Liao was someone that rarely talked, but talked endlessly whenever he was around Chen. The two therefore became good friends. After returning to Taiwan, Liao began teaching students to draw, and at the same time, Liao was winning several awards for his oil painting. And worked alongside other painters to promote the new art movement that increased Taiwanese appreciation for artwork. One time, he went nature sketching with Ruzabura Umahara. Swish, swish, swish! Seeing Umahara's bold brushwork running on the canvas, colors like fire, seemed to ignite Liao's passion for this expressive style of art. After the end of World War II, the Japanese who were defeated returned to Japan. The society was in chaos, and thieves often seized the houses left by the Japanese. Let's go! Hurry up! Come with Dad to post notes. Liao, who was the acting principal then, rushed out with his son to post signs indicating that the property belonged to the school. During this time of tension and chaos. Liao's only thought was to protect the school's property. The thought of seizing a house for himself never crossed his mind, as his family continued to live in a small and simple house. Then came the February twenty-eighth incident, where his good friend Chen was innocently killed. This made Liao, who was already not very talkative, even quieter. 
For a while, he often visited the place where he and Chen used to go nature sketching together to reminisce on those good times. Through his faith that gave him comfort and encouragement, Liao regained the motivation to paint. He also started including his feelings of nostalgia into his paintings. Liao went to the Taiwan Provincial Normal College to teach painting and taught in a gentle and earnest way. His painting abilities were highly respected and all the students wanted to take his class. The teacher does not ask us to learn his own paintings and rarely modifies our artworks, but instead wants us to discover our own style. Liao's free and open style of teaching, as well as his encouragement for his students to set up an art group, drove the trend of modern art throughout Taiwan. Liao, who was ahead of time, also started to attempt drawing abstract pictures. He expressed his true feelings through those paintings. What amazing artwork will the teacher draw today? Students often discussed and look forward to it excitedly. Students would also often meet up at his house to discuss about different art-related ideas. If you ever encounter difficulties in life, come and live in my house, his wife Lin said to the students. Liao also gave a warm smile. However, Liao, who often forgot about the time when he painted, also forgot that his students need to eat. Yes, this is not bad. Liao said to himself, full of satisfaction. That won't work. People won't understand this type of painting, Lin said from behind. Liao gently looked back at her with a smile, then continued on with his painting, which is abstract and yet not so, only shaping it ever so slightly to embody Lin's concerns. Liao once visited art museums in other countries, which really opened his eyes. The artwork he painted after returning to Taiwan had freer outlines and bolder colours. His understanding for painting grew deeper. I don't think it matters whether the paintings look realistic or not. The important thing is the content that allows people to feel beauty like the peaceful atmosphere on a Sunday. Liao, who often drew sceneries of his family and home, created a painting in later years that included various birds and insects that rested in the forest at night with a peaceful atmosphere. Count them. How many animals and insects are there in the painting? Children, in father's paintings, I will always be with you. In this way, Liao Jichun's paintings continue to warmly guard his children and led the people who followed him and loved art. I am not good at talking. Instead, I use my paintings to express my thoughts. For me, painting can express my feelings more than anything else, said Liao Jichun.